thank you lord for giving such a wonderful night uh, thank you for bringing the kids together to worship you and also praise you through the songs whatever that we are going to speak today that should come from the will of god and put the right words that should talk to these kids and that should put a seed on their life let your presence be with us throughout the day praying in mighty name of jesus amen okay today we are going to spend some time on how we can stand for god at what you do it's very tough when we actually talk about the god with the friends you need to know like uh, the best way to talk to the friends about the god there are situations that uh, though you want to talk about the god but we cannot actually open up the topic it may come all the way to your mouth but something will stop you to talk about the god because uh, we also came from the same base that you guys have been getting groomed right so always when we start keep talking about the god with the friends so sometimes friends will stay away and they start making fun of us i i still remember in my college there was one guy who always talk about the god whenever he comes uh, friends started calling him as little pastor is coming little pastor is coming it's a time for us to move away from this table because if he comes he will start talking about only god so sometimes we feel that that uh, it's not something that we can we can't keep hearing so in these situations how we can stand for god there are different ways that you can actually pick it up from today's uh, message and also you can enhance it in a way that works better for you at the same time this will also actually talk to you to be like this to give a way for other youth to talk about the god that's what we are going to see today uh, let us move on yeah i would like to start with this tropicana is is anything favorite to you here which one ha uh, pizza okay do, do we have somebody who likes tropicana tropicana okay <laughs> tropicana oh uh, what's I, i don't oh, you like tropicana okay no okay <laughs> you like pizza okay go what's i know very tough for uh, you to say whether you like it or not but i know many of you don't like but you all know about these products that is what important here everyone knows about this product they are the ruler on their own business it's big business giants but i want to know like what is the who is the uh, founder or who who is the great person behind this any body would like to at least give a guess for one of these three any guess pepsi owns the domino's pizza who, who owns pepsi oh pepsi pepsi own domino's pizza uh, right now right <laughs> but uh, there is there is a interesting story behind this that's what we are going to see for some time uh, ensure that you actually uh, hear it because next time when i get a chance to speak about your god here i will talk about these three again okay so next three slides i'm going to just touch upon these three quickly but when i come next time you have to actually say what we what we are hearing today anthony is the founder of tropicana uh henry is the founder of uh, quaker oats and tom is the founder of dominos great business giant 
Anthony, your man who walk with God. He's a great business giant, but he walk with God. You don't need to be a missionary or evangelist to talk about the God or you stand for a God, but you still stand for a God on what you do. Being a student, being a professional, uh, being a worker of various departments, you still you can stand for the God. Every profession you take, there are superiors or the superstar who actually stood for the God. So, we are going to just talk about the business giants today. If at all chances comes, we will talk about some of the great um, man of God who actually stood for God in the different professions as well. Anthony, daily commune with the God, the, the great businessman, he always actually talks to the God whatever that he does. Everything he talks to the God, how he, how he shows to others? Anytime people ask him to come and talk about the success of him, first he starts with the word saying that, glory to the God. They may talk about that the success came from the hard work, the success came from some of my great qualities. He will not talk about it. He will not advise people to follow this quality. He always says that, glory to the God. And he, when he goes to church or he stands for any meeting, he touch upon something from the Bible and then he actually finishes his speech. That's the way that he stood for the God. He doesn't worry about the corporates. There are corporates who may ask him to actually not talking about him, but he will never stop. He always talks about the God. He glorifies the God. The next time, I'm just giving you a tip. Anybody, any of your friends likes Tropicana, you should actually provoke them and ask him why you like Tropicana. When you people who like Tropicana or people who likes what, like something, they will definitely want to hear about that. That time you open up the story of a great businessman who walked with the God, it's Anthony Rossi. You talk about him, you like this Tropicana. The Tropicana had a recipe which came from the creativity of your great person, Anthony, and he walked with the God. That's a way that you can initiate the conversation because especially the growing people, they would like to hear about the businessman and the successes. And everything is associated to sometimes with the materialistic things. So you have to use the opportunity to talk about the materialistic thing in favor of God. Let's move on. The next portion. Even the book, I just took this picture because the book itself uh, has actually the slogan. As a businessman, always put God first. God's business should come first. The Quaker Oats, there is a book about the great businessman, Henry, but what is written in that? As a businessman, always put God first. God's business should come first. Because God, if you put God first, things will fall in place for you. Whenever you have someone who actually, because this is the great cartoon, the Quaker cartoon, there are kids who likes to actually put the cartoon. So whenever any of your friends put some of the cartoon, you talk about the cartoon of the Quaker, and then you talk about the great person behind the success of the Quaker. He is the person who always puts God's business first. Elevate the conversation in such a way that there are people who you like the product was built by them, but they lived for the God. 
and if you read it right the second points talk about that many corporate giants comes to him and they ask for the success on how to actually solve the problem he says that this is just because of my jesus who actually gave the victory for me he spoke with me through this word he provoked with me through this creativity this came out of my business that's the success of me so the corporate giant started following him so if the corporate giant started following him the entire corporate circle will start following jesus because he puts jesus as the victory for him with a great effort he he has been actually supporting many christian organization i think when i when i talked about the previous one i think uh, i i missed one could, could you please go back yeah he actually i mean anthony he he actually built the bradenton missionary village that village is right now actually supporting all the missionaries evangelist who retired from the life if the missionaries and evangelists if they are retired if they are not able to move forward in the life they can always actually put the application into this missionary village they will review the application they will actually consider that application and they will consider that missionary to stay with them till the end of the life there are hundreds of missionaries who are actually living in this missionary village you can still go and see it there is a big website you can always watch it so that came from anthony he is the originator and he lived for the god then he made things to be available for the god's people then henry parson okay he 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 donated a lot 100 christian organization including the morris bible institute you all know about the morris bible institute at one point in time they had to go for the bankruptcy while they were in the building stage itself he is the one who went back and made sure that that bible institute got built successfully so he is the success of that moody's bible institute as well and there is a last point still you can actually talk about him that when he was actually riding on the train he died by the time he died as a great businessman he hold the bible in him that is the success of a great businessman who puts god in front of him you can move on yeah third one dominos the tom is actually the founder of the dominos very interesting character i i read about him what i read was if he likes to actually eat a wonderful crab that usually we get that crab in the baltimore wherever he is there he takes the charter flight he goes to the baltimore and he eats the crab and come back such a lavish life that he was he lived in very luxury yes life the new car as soon as it comes for the demo one of the few cars that are delivered will be there at his home such a lavish life that he lived in and he is the person who came up with the dominos right every other day at least two or three franchise got open across the united states he was the leader in that industry he lived for living a lavish life that's the kind of person that he was you can talk about any of your friends who likes the dominos pizza if they say that they like dominos pizza you can say that you know tom that's the entry for you to get into the conversation just tell him that as soon as you say that he was called as actually the dominos tiger you you all know the detroit tiger right it's a great team who plays the baseball he was the owner of the detroit tiger for 9 years you can actually talk about the friends who likes the baseball and dominos say that 
the person who built the domino was owning the detroit tiger team for about 9 years then they will start listening to you then the next step you can talk about him that he had a great lavish life he fly in charter flight from one country to another country for eating something that he likes the most such a great business man who had a great lavish life but just after re- reading the great book mere christianity the book was written by cs lewis it touched him then he understood the god the existence of the god then he started having the faith on the god and finally right he decided to give up all his lavish life then if you still go and google the slogan called the millionaire vow of poverty this is the famous slogan this very where it's a big hashtag the missionary the millionaire vow of proper po- pro- poverty he led such a humble life just after reading the book and after having the faith in the god finally he gave up the dominos and he got all the money back and he spent every single money to save the most souls for the god and he is the one in the press meet announced that he wants to build a city that is free of adultery such a great person who lived for god and the founder of the favorite pizzas of many of your friends this is the way to enter into the conversation to talk about the god and talk about what how he converted or how he changed his mindset to believe in the god and finally what he did for this society those are the three things keep in mind next time when i come i'll ask some questions you can actually quickly talk about that that way it keeps registering in your mind so you can also bring this topic whenever the opportunity comes now we'll move on oh next few minutes we are going to talk about the person who involved in this so far we spent few minutes of each of the great giant right but next few minutes he is the person the person who actually brought the chick fil a to the world we are going to talk about that because he left a lot for us to talk about the god it's great is, is there anybody who doesn't like chick fil a i don't want to ask who likes chick fil a who doesn't like chick fil a no is chick fil a a favorite for you any okay fantastic many of your friends like chick fil a especially the grown up people like chick fil a a lot so you can bring this story it's a real incident we'll talk about a bit how we can actually talk about god at your place using this great giant samuel truett kathy uh, he goes by his middle name truett and uh, whenever we honor we use the word actually as kathy but he goes by the name called truett he lived for 93 years but his beginning very humble beginning at 8 years old he set up a stand in front of home and he was selling actually the six pack of coca cola for quarter for a quarter cent sorry quarter dollar right six pack of coca cola for quarter dollar at age of 8 because at his home he had to become the breadwinner that's the kind of humble life that he started at the age of 14 he started actually distributing the newspaper because he had no other choice 
he has to feed himself and also his family so himself and his brother played the distributor of the newspaper role at the age of 14 and the other important things are are actually a kind of actually the very interesting thing that he always does was whenever he is at home he spent most of his time at kitchen along with his mom mom always teach him about the way how the different uh, uh, recipe can be used how we can actually prepare very different products and how you have to do the seasoning how you should apply the sauces there are so many tricks that she actually explains him so he always hang in with his mother at the kitchen that's how actually he started the life there is a word i put right the servant of god thoroughly equipped for every good work whatever that he does he gives the best that's why he got actually groomed beyond all those things right he was the regular member of the baptist church that's how he his life was that's a humble beginning now we will talk about the next okay before talking about 1946 right that's actually the his faith was tested he is the regular for church but his faith got tested but before coming to this there was a gap what he was doing when there was a gap there was a second world war so that time the strong built in young people had to be part of the military so he was in the military for some time then he came back once the things got settled down in the early 40s 1940s then afterwards what happened then on 1946 may 23 himself and his brother started actually the hotel or 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 actually the the name of the hotel is they call it as actually the dwarf house dwarf means little it's a small house at least two three people people can maximum stand at the place at one point in time so they opened it up then they started serving people around them but his faith got now his faith started going through a lot of testings because he is the follower of the god and once he has grown up he started giving his life for the god through his actions one of the favorite things for him is that he liked to conduct the sunday school for his church to such children so he was actually playing the role of sunday school teacher when he was going through this business journey that's how i think he has his life has been started while he was going through the journey with the god this is the test that he has been going through it's a it's a fight on, i mean it's a test on your faith 1949 there was a flight crash the brothers who started the business along with him died two of his brothers died in the fly, flight crash the plane crash happened his faith was tested but he didn't give up god because he was actually still going to the church he was the regular he was regular to the church even he lost two of his brother he played the role of sunday class teacher and that's how he was then again he was actually bringing the hotel up then he opened the nest uh, dwarf house nearby likewise he was slowly expanding his hotel business in 1960 right is one of his the second one the dwarf house got into the fire accident the entire building is gone so he back to the square his faith is again getting tested here he stood for the god he was the regular for the church 
he was taking the sunday class for every other kids who were coming to his church he didn't give up then again after 5 years right 1965 one of the other remaining dwarf house has also gone through the fire accident this is how his faith was tested on every journey that he has been gone through in the business but he didn't give up god he was the regular of the church and he was taking the sunday class for every kids likewise his journey evolved as he has already gone through the fire accident for one of his uh, uh, house finally he understood that the next accident comes he understood the role of the insurance that he was able to pull his uh, business back with the $25000 then he actually brought into the business right the first day of his scale was hit around only 58 dollars that's that's what many people say the first day day was only 58 dollars but he is the owner of the billions now <coughs> so that's how i think he was evolving when that faith was tested he was just stand on god yep this is the words that he always goes by when you pass through the water i'll be with you when you pass through the rivers they will not sweep over you when you walk through the fire you will not get burnt this is the verse that he always goes by he puts god's words word in front of him then he was marching towards that that's how he was actually trying to come back from the tragedy that he has gone through we'll move on now the true faith it got strengthened further right because god will give you the gift of creativity whatever you do you can actually enhance your skills through the knowledge but the creativity can come from god the first starting point always comes from the god you can enhance it through your worldly knowledge but if you want to actually get into the fullest of that that can come only through the god that's how i think uh, the creativity he was lacking for creativity now what is the next step he has been going through for about 40 years regular in church sunday class teacher what is the next step in his life let's move on to the next one okay he went back to his home he was thinking and he was looking for something he was looking for the breaking point he was looking for some kind of actually the startup then finally he has gone back to his mother's formula he had to go and start remembering the things that his mother was taught to him then he brought all the different recipes that he learned from his mother at her kitchen and started applying every single recipe once he started applying the single recipe god will not let you go down right he will put the creativity on top of you and start applying the various different ways of actually putting the uh, sandwiches right there are many different special spices that he tried many different seasoning that he tried because the making the sandwich is a key right before going for the baking making the sandwich is a key that only he applied all his different creativity that came from the god and all the friends around him started supporting because god will put you the friends to support you in the journey and finally he found a formula for one of the great sandwich we usually call the sandwich right now right original chicken sandwich from chickfilly finally the original chicken sandwich came from that particular creativity now once you found that it is a great product which will surely be liked by the person everybody then you need to make sure that you get a patent for it 
you have to find a way to protect your product from the infringement. So you have to actually come up with a patent. So for bringing the patent, you need to have a great name, correct? So far he has the shop called, what was the shop name? Dwarf, Dwarf House, small house. Only two, three people can stand. That's why it's a little house, right? Dwarf House. Now he needs to actually give a great name for the great product. We'll move on. Yep. The name that he has given for the original second sandwich is Sick Filet Sandwich. That's where that Sick Filet came to this world. Okay. And he started building the Chick Filet. Then everybody started liking it. God gave him the different vision to, on how you should expand it beyond your territory. He applied all the wisdom and vision on the execution. Now you know that Chick-fil-A is number one in the fast food leading industry of the sandwiches. That's how he evolved. Now we are going to see a couple of few things and then we will close the day today. Attribute of success. Whenever people go and ask him about what is the attribute of your success, he tells that three things, customer service, hard work, and he will say that my Christian values. My Christian values is the attribute of my success. The great Christian values, that is the attribute of my success. Right? Then he put a slogan. He put actually the slogan, whatever that you see, right, in the Chick-fil-A. Every other Chick-fil-A you see it somewhere, it will be hanging on it. To glorify God by being a faithful steward, right? To glorify God by being the faithful steward. He's touching upon the word that I want to glorify God for the success. That's how I think of the Christian values that he's put up on it. Now, he is actually a businessman. Now he got actually the good territory under him. But two things. <coughs> As I said earlier, he was regular to the church and he was playing the role of what? He was playing the role of Sunday school teacher. The CEO of company was playing the role of Sunday school teacher in the first, first Baptist church in Georgia. Many people, right, will come to the church to see the CEO of your great company on how, what, how he is teaching to the kids. That's the story that you need to bring in with your friends slowly talking about the success of the Chick-fil-A, then started talking about the reason for the success, which is nothing but the Christian values. We can move on. After the Christian values, what is the another attribute of his success? He was walking with the God. How he showed to the world that he was walking with the God? Because you have to show yourself that through your actions, then they will start coming to you. Then you start talking about the God, that God gave me the power to do this. And I am walking with the God. That's why I am doing this. That's why it is happening for me. He continuously did that. Every other press meet, he will bring the topic of how God helped him. That's why he wants to glorify God. The success belongs to the God. Next, yeah, I think the third one, right? He was witness to the God. People has been appreciating. Uh, he has become a great billionaire, and at age of 2000, I mean, at the age of like around 70 plus, in 2006, he was in 70s. But two things: he was still doing it. He was regular to the church. And he was playing the role of what? Sunday school teacher. 
the ceo of the company was still playing the role of sunday school teacher more than 50 years he was playing the role of sunday school teacher in every sunday he was a businessman but it is sunday but he was playing the role of sunday school teacher what will happen to his business on the day businessman cannot take a rest right in a single day it's not easy ah huh? what will happen sunday what will happen to his business uh, you all know the answer right what's happening right now on sunday for chick fil a what what it's closed chick fil a is closed on sunday ara i don't want that business to be run on sunday because i want to go to where i want to go to church and i have a job in the church what is the job for me sunday school teacher a ceo billionaire sunday school teacher every time if you go and see that chick fil a is closed right they have to read why it is closed billions of people are reading right now why chick fil a is closed on sunday then they have to read the great life that business giant had lived for the god what elijah okay good thanks for bringing this up so that is what he left for us to talk about the god by using the favorite chick fil a sandwich okay he was a regular sunday class person okay that uh, press meet right the press meet they were asking the question how you actually stand on the faith he talks about his success that came from the god then he said that i silently want to show the world about my god by closing the chick fil a and he told that let people walk and spend time in the mall on sunday morning and i want them to see that chick fil a is closed let my silent action will talk to the people i will do my ministry and tell them that this is the day that you need to spend to the only original god that's my god jesus if you spend more and more time outside of church on sunday or even if you go and to some place if you see the chick fil a closed that will provoke you the great businessman who closed the business on sunday for spending the time with the god and also to teach the gospel of god to the kids that's how i think uh, he evolved now this is the press meet uh, 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 i mean yeah this is actually the uh, press release that he actually put why chick fil a is closed he used the word that many places i highlighted few things right testament and testament of faith in god he is closing it that is the press release that he did it is still hanging on in some of the chick fil a's because people wants to know why it is closed on sunday he wants them to see the press press release that he did and he used the word to glorify god being a faithful steward and he is talking about the spiritual life in the press meet one next one and also this is where he is touching the people because people are actually giving more and more preference for the monetary things right that's why he is touching this point in today's business world 
closing the chickfilly on one of the great business day sunday is a big business decision and also the costly business decision he made the decision to glorify god but whatever the business that he has got for 6 days has exceeded him when comparing to all the players who were doing the same business in united states very quality product i'm not here to market the chickfle but he ensured that just for god he clo- he lost the business for one day which is the which is in billions but he gained back the rest of them in that six days and he is, has the courage to put the press release and he has the courage to hang on that press release in front of the chickfle he lived for the god next time your friends opens up the talk pick about the chickfle which is their favorite means that's a chance for you to talk about the great man of god throughout kathi i'm just leaving this to you to think about it digest it and apply it and i i pray god to actually give you the chance to talk about you give the wisdom and knowledge to create a situation to talk about it for the glory for the glorification of god let us pray thank you lord for giving such a wonderful time today and you brought all the you children here to praise you through the songs and worship you through the prayers and medi- meditate you through the words there is a reason for bringing them there are so many other youth children are spending this time for the entertainment but these children are spending their time for you oh father god please lift them up please fill them through the knowledge wisdom and your great compassion on you please lift them in all the ways put your angels to lift all our children on wherever they go thank you so much for putting the right word on us let this word talk to them constructively and let them actually live for you from on every seconds that they live here in the world of oh father god thank you again and praying everything in the mighty name of jesus amen